I guess I'm watching to the Greg Doucette video now, guys. I'm tired, so the reaction might not be exactly what you guys want, but I will watch it and give my opinion. Alex Eubank with Toji, now known as Tollbanks, or in some cases, Algae, they got together to talk about God. Alex is trying his best to convert Toji to find Jesus. And so today's video, we're going to find out, can you have pleasure without pain? Light without darkness, joy without sorrow, good without evil. Is the echo done? Are we good on the echo? Fix the echo. And that's why I started. Echo no more. And then I started seeing your content. Of Do opposites attract? Good, I've been watching you bangs for, for since I was uh, 18. See, that's wild to me. And Alex is thinking, this is wild to me. Here I am preaching the good word of the Lord, and. You're a fan. And so Alex Eubank, what he enjoys most is spreading the word of the Lord. He's very passionate about yes, this. And imagine how good it would feel if he could positively influence Toji. And of course he wants to do this and that he should. Togi, in my opinion, has been on a downward spiral. What? Yeah, he's making hella bank, but he's blasting it all at the casino. Oh, Greg, Gambling like you didn't take 700 milligrams of goddamn trend when you were fucking 25 years old? Grow up. It's not like I'm blasting gear for the rest of my life. I can't dabble with some... Oh. Sorry, one and second. On for one year, just one year, and already done three cycles. Each cycle has gotten progressively worse. worse. And, and the, the first, first two cycles, cycles, he put on about 45 pounds of muscle. Here's Literally, the thing, he fucking Greg Doucette. Over for so me, that time, I motherfucker like, ran yeah. three cycles. How many cycles train, you I ran? Don't, I, don't. I, I don't plan on, on benders, blasting gear for the rest of my life, you fucking nerd. I'm not taking 700 trend. I'm not taking 700 trend and all these steroids you took for your IPV per card. I just take regular steroids because I like to be jacked, motherfucker. If that for steroids, then well... I don't know what is. I loved the hard style, loved the aesthetics era, thought, you know, Eubanks, David Laid, uh, Skywalker. I thought that all that shit was so cool. Eubanks is a failed channel. Well, I'll tell you what, Eubanks makes more money than any fitness influencer in the entire industry. Time, partying to all hours of the night, using steroids and saying, I hardly even work out. I don't even ride bikes, but yet look at my physique. I party away, I'm sniffing creatine, I'm doing all kinds of bad things. Gambling my money away, but it's fun. Would that not promote other people to perhaps be like Coach Craig? What else am I going to do? I don't even follow my cookbook. I just eat fast food all the time. Yet I look like this. You'd be thinking, I want to use steroids. It seems like a great... Can you guys hear me? Somebody said they couldn't hear me. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, word. Time, but instead of that, what do I do? Half my videos are about Meg Isertel and others, guys like Togi, talking about the dangers of performance enhancing drugs. I'm going over their blood work, explaining how they're not healthy, and hopefully undoing some of the damage that other guys who are glorifying promoting steroids are doing. If I posted that shit, it would be 95% like juice stuff. Like, yeah. yeah, that my whole audience loves steroids. Yeah. And so Togi's like, look. 95% of my audience would prefer the juiced up steroid monster characters. They love steroids. And so if you had to choose between a svelte 170 pounds aesthetics and 225 pounds of mass monster, they're going for the muscle. I don't know. When I was watching you and I wanted to be jacked, it wasn't like steroids are so frowned upon, but it was more like a scary land of the unknown. And so Tolgi describes the difference as this. In the last three years, what's happened is there's a shift in mindset, a paradigm shift, if you will. People went from being scared of steroids to now people thinking, yeah, these people are using steroids. And so they're now desensitized to it. If you have several guys who people know are taking steroids, for example, Sam Sulik, Chris Bumstead, perhaps even Togi, and they're seeing these guys and they're thinking, well, they're still around. They may not even explain the steroids that they're on, but the fact that everyone knows they're on them, it's causing people to think, well, it's not that big a deal. If the majority of the people that you follow, or perhaps the majority of your friends are taking steroids, then you're going to say, it ain't a big deal. Everyone does steroids. Your circle of people, those who are influencing you, and in today's day and age, that circle is no longer just your closest friends. It's actually social media. And if most of the people on social media are using steroids, you're going to think that's normal. It becomes normalized. And so you. Okay. 
would like to make a clarification. All these old boomer motherfuckers, the old motherfuckers like to think steroids are not cool, steroids are not that. Steroids are something you can do to your body which will benefit or negatively impact them. It's not cool or not cool. I think they're cool. I love steroids. But for you people to categorize all steroids as, oh, this is not good, this and that, especially when you used to use steroids, that makes you a hypocrite because it did. You know what, Greg? You could say, oh, you shouldn't take steroids. You shouldn't take steroids because it's bad for your heart. It's bad for this. Your career is made off of steroids, Greg. Without steroids, you would have no IFBB pro card. Without steroids, you would have no brand. So how can you say nobody should take steroids but I do it, and I'm successful because of it. it. I think steroids are cool, personally. That's what, obviously everyone knows that. But I'm just saying, Greg, stop being a goddamn hypocrite. Who then want to use steroids? But this cycle has been chalked. Effectively wasted this whole cycle because I've just been like, I work out like two, three times a week. I eat whatever I want. Just because like I don't really care what I look like anymore. And so think of it. The first two cycles, he put on 40 to 45 pounds of muscle. The third cycle, he hardly works out. He does whatever the hell he wants. He abuses steroids, but yet he still looks like this. And so what does that sound like? It's causing people to think, well, all I have to do is do a couple cycles, put on a ton of muscle, and after that, I don't even have to work out. I show up, perhaps look at the weights two or three times a week, use steroids, and I can then maintain my dream physique. That's interesting because I feel like a lot of people who hop on gear, it's like, it's, it becomes an issue because it's like you want to keep topping it. And so I'm more in line with what Alex is saying. The majority of people using steroids are thinking, well, if I put on 10 or 20 pounds, I'll then be happy. They gain God damn it. Por eso en Bimbo nos enorgullece patrocinar al Comité Olímpico Mexicano y Comité Paralímpico Mexicano, porque alimentan los sueños de todo un país lleno de mexicanos de alto rendimiento como tú. Bimbo, alimentamos un mundo mejor. So what is ClickUp? ClickUp is an all-in-one productivity software where you can manage everything and anything. Gain the 10 or 20. Also, I'm not... Also, I'm not saying people can't change. You can change doing this and that. But I was talking to my roommate, Nate Udi, and Greg Doucette was the reason he hopped on steroids because Greg Doucette's old content, if you were there for his old content, it was my favorite SARMs, how to fucking run a testosterone cycle, all this bullshit. And now he shits on everyone that does it just because it's not as educational, just because it's not educational everything doesn't need to be educational maybe i just want to make people fucking laugh and live my life greg makes it seem like every motherfucker needs to be teaching shit it's it gets irritating 20 pounds they want 10 or 20 more people will always want more it's in our human nature to want to be better than last time a lot of people this is going to sound like an ad but it's like you take steroids and then in six months i had my dream physique it was like yeah and so does that sound like an ad to you Hey, I hopped on steroids and in six months I had my dream physique. I mean, if out of context for the record, I said I have my dream physique and I also have high blood pressure and gyno and heart problems now. Just saying out of context, Greg. If I'm a young person watching this, I'm thinking, why would I want to do what Coach Greg says and wait until I'm at least 25? Wait until I've stopped my natural progression. Why would I waste my young years when I can get it as fast as humanly possible as Toji's done? Toji literally says, I don't want to spend my life doing this. I want to get it right now. The faster I can get to where I want, the better. And now it's just like I can go and enjoy my life and yeah. like go on a vacation, eat, like have a nice dinner. Yeah. And so here's the problem. He can enjoy his life, but for how long? He doesn't have to waste his time at the gym. He doesn't have to train all the time. He can take several days off, eat whatever he wants, party whatever he wants, but for how long? It used to be like, but for how long does it really matter? How obviously we all, we all want to live for a long time. But for example, 
not trying to be like cocky or anything, but I'm walking around Cabo. I'm the biggest person here. Everyone's staring at me. I have all of these amazing things because I'm more jacked at a younger age. So my existence is incredible. Do I want to be living at 70 year old, 70 years old, wrinkly? Oh, I came out on top here because I'm 70 years old and I can't get a fucking boner. It just the qu- everybody. If you want to live till 70, great. If you want to live till 50, great. If you want to live your fullest life. And whatever it takes, that's the sacrifice you have to be willing to make. And everybody knows that sacrifice. Nobody on this planet assumes that when you take steroids, there's no negative side effects. Everybody knows what they're getting themselves into. And every person that takes it understands, I might get high blood pressure. I might get gyno, this and that. So it's not up to you, Grandpa fucking Gregory, to tell me I need to live until 70 goddamn years old. Chicken and rice, chicken and rice. But now I don't care. Yeah. That that's how I was, and, and I feel like as of the last year, I've definitely allowed my body. Like I'm not nearly as shredded as I used to always be. And so Alex describes how when he first started training, he was obsessed. He was getting up in the middle of the night to make a protein shake. He couldn't have a day off the gym. If he travels on vacation, he had to train all the time. And so what he's describing now is he has balance. But remember, Alex has millions of followers, millions of dollars. He's clearly made it. And so for other people verse starting, they perhaps want to copy Alex Eubank or Toji. They want to emulate these guys. They want to be these guys. And so for these guys, they're thinking, I can't take a day off. They may in fact develop body dysmorphia and they may never be happy with their physique. Now you remember, Alex Eubank had made multiple videos saying, hey, perhaps I'm going to go on HRT. Perhaps I'm going to use steroids. But he never ended up deciding to do so. And do you think perhaps that's something to do with his relationship with God? Do you not think that he thought, why would I do that? Why would I risk my health? Would God want me to do that? I'm certainly thinking he probably wouldn't. But Alex had already gotten famous. He already had millions of dollars. And so I do think it's a little bit easier for Alex. But imagine if Alex were still struggling, striving to get perhaps 10,000 followers. And he knew that if he maintained single digit body fat or perhaps put on 20 pounds of muscle, that he too could get famous. Imagine the pressure to then use steroids. And so why do you think told you use steroids? He explains it. I wanted to be famous. I started doing videos about using gear and that was what got me popular. Like I'm kind of known for like doing all the dumb shit I do being in there. And that's the fucking beauty of life is that everybody has free will and every single uh, anything that you want to accomplish takes a sacrifice. There's nothing. You never get something for nothing. So I look at steroids and I go, hey, this might benefit my life to a large degree. I'm going to try it. And if I fail, I will suffer the repercussions. We don't have to be all fucking safe Nancy Wancy over here. It was obviously I knew what I was getting myself into, but I was willing to take the risk because I knew it could benefit my life in a large way. This does not pertain to specifically steroids, anything in your life, anything moving out of your hometown, whatever it might be, take the risk because nothing is free and then you can deal with the repercussions if it doesn't work out but the only way you're going to make forward improvement and become the best version of yourself is if you take the risks that nobody else wants to take because nobody else wants to take the fucking risk in this planet so if you embark on one journey one time you embark on something that you dead you know you you have an idea you want to do something but you never embark on it if you one time embark on something and work towards something without asking for anything in return you and and also risking a shit ton you will be above ahead 99.999 percent of people tanning like gambling and all that but you initially blew off of looking like having a, like the dream physique. And so think of it. Alex became famous for how he looks, for having the greed, God, the aesthetic physique. What if he couldn't have achieved that physique by being... Quick guy in the chat goes, whatever his name is, Cope Maxing. What are you doing, Cope Maxing? You're watching my live stream while you fucking react to Greg Doucette. Go fucking touch some grass. Go start a business. Go get jacked. How are you going to say I'm cope maxing when I'm fucking, I have, I have everything that I've worked hard towards because I 
every day work towards it cope maxing because i'm cringe how about you suck my balls because you are a failure a fundamental failure motherfucker natural and remember i have suggested in the past that he perhaps used mk677 that he perhaps wasn't natural as a teenager and so did that in fact propel him to where he is right now and did he since then go natural i remember i got my testosterone levels checked and this is like i'm natural and i got tested it was at 215 I that. are you still low probably three months ago and i was at i believe 600 and so consider this he used to be in the 400 and 600s and then crash died and remained too lean his testosterone levels went down to perhaps two 200, 215. And since that time, do you remember that video? I believe his testosterone went up to 900 plus. 900 plus. And what did I say he perhaps was taking? In clomiphene. It's not a steroid. You can't use it for sports. If you're drug tested, you would in fact fail the drug test. And so was Alex actually natural? I'm going to argue that if he did in fact use in clomiphene, that he was not natural. And what is he at right now? And clomiphene is natural. If you don't think clomiphene is natural, you're a total pussy, total puss balls. And clomiphene will not make you more jacked. 600. And so how do you in fact go from perhaps in the 400s, 600s, dieting down into the 200s, and then suddenly getting up to over 900? Remember, I'm on HRT, 140 milligrams a week, and I've never been over 900. Never been over 900. And so Alex Eubanks' testosterone levels, are you going to convince me that by being 100% natural, it went from 215 to well over 900 while being natty without taking anything? Remember, he's now back down to 600. And so perhaps 600 for Alex, that is his actual natural status. And so I would venture to say Alex is natural right now, but I personally believe Am I in this goddamn video? He's just talking about fucking Alex Eubanks. Where the fuck am I here? Here we go. Two X speed. that in his teenage years he used something i don't know exactly what it was perhaps it was mk6 m7 and since that time he then went on to use inclomiphene but then decided to go off and said hey enough of this i found god god doesn't want me to take performance enhancing drugs and so he is now 100 percent natural remember he's only around 25 years of age i'm going to guess should he be at his natural genetic limit already at 25 has alex put on a significant amount of muscle since the age of let's say 20. If you look back at Coach Greg, from the age of 10, I started training, all the way up into my 30s, I was putting on muscle. I was slowly adding on muscle year after year. And so if you're actually 20, 22 years of age, and you think you're close to your natural genetic limit, I'm here to tell you, you're not. And so you should continue to improve. And so if you're not improving, it's perhaps because you decided to use steroids, SARMs, peptides, and so on at too young of an age. And so please wait until you're older than last time. The biggest thing that's always swayed me away from like, first, I hate needles. Like I know that's like probably like people might think that's just like, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like needles. Like I hate getting my blood taken. And clomiphene isn't a needle. MK677 isn't a needle. SARMs are typically not needles or an oral form. And there are a host of steroids, for example, Anavar, T-Ball, Superdrol, that are not needles. And so to say, I didn't want to use a needle, it's not evidence to say you're natural. Like you're older, like, you know, 30s and it starts crashing. I'm not opposed to doing like 130, whatever milligrams, yeah, whatever out works, like a week. It doesn't go down that fast. Perhaps in your 40s, it's going to go down maybe one. For the record, you motherfuckers are making me watch this bullshit. I have not watched a Greg Doucette or D-Trend video in uh, probably ever. And everyone goes, watch a D-Trend, watch a D-Trend. So here we are reacting to it, motherfuckers. And here are my thoughts on it. I agree. Let's turn this off and gamble, but we'll get to that in 10 minutes. 1% a year, but you shouldn't typically see somebody drop by, say, 20 to 50% suddenly in a matter of years. If you have, absolutely go and see your doctor. I partnered with Transcend. You can get your blood work taken with Transcend. They have doctors that can prescribe HRT if you need it. They also have peptides. And so if you're looking for a professional way to get HRT if you need it, click the link in the description. I feel like a lot of kids will try to use that as an excuse now. And then it usually will like, it's like a gateway drug. I feel like it could be. So are SARMs or orals or peptides or anything. Once you start injecting something, it's absolutely a gateway drug. Now, if your friends are taking HRT, but it's not prescribed by a doctor, they're taking steroids. 
It's not HRT. If you suddenly self-diagnose and say, I'm going to do a low dose of testosterone, may, that is not HRT. Who HRT made me watch this bullshit? This is so from a boring. doctor that deems it necessary for you to do so. It's not you deciding my testosterone levels are only 400, 300, 600. And I want him to be optimal. I want it to be. All right, we're skipping to where Greg's talking HRT. to me. That is steroids. And so don't go around saying you're on HRT if you don't have a prescription. Everything you put in your body affects, like, even if it's not steroids. If fashion, how are you being safe? Is this a joke? Uh, do we have to go to God the blood damn, work? damn, this is boring. Show me the blood work. And so he did. You guys requested and guess what? it. It looked horror awful. It was atrocious. If that's a safe way to do steroids, then I want to use them the dangerous way. My lifestyle, a lot of people are like, how is Toki alive? How is he sustaining this? I'm probably one of the least degenerate out of all my college friends. Like those kids, I was the bitch of the group. Is a banana a metabolism? And now we're watching a goddamn killer? banana. I just heard the truth from this guy and my mind was blown. This is a metabolism killer. This is a metabolism You guys know killer. Beast Reds? Even Total this. fucking dork, bro. Such a, such a loser. He's the bitch of the group? They're going 10 times worse? <sighs> Man, I must be old because in my day, this would have been the worst of the worst. In university, you kidding me? How are you guys passing? Thrown in my face more now that I like post about it on the internet and people watch it. They're like, oh, like you're influencing these kids. Yeah. Um, but I'm not like here to influence people. Yeah, I'm not here to influence kids. You know, I just influence kids. Well, I, I, a couple times I've said take steroids. Okay, that was more of like a sarcastic. And so when I say shut the fuck up, Greg. 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 You look at Theo Vaughn, a comedian, and you go, "Is he influencing fucking kids?" He's a comedian. Not everybody with a following is a goddamn influencer. I'm not influencing motherfuckers. I'm a comedian. I make you laugh, motherfucker. God, Greg, you fucking categorizing me as an influencer. Who says that? Who says that? Yeah, I know. People wanted me to watch this, so we're almost done with it. Sissy maxing. I know my estrogen's been a little bit high. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. My estrogen's been a little bit high, so I've been kind of salty, low key, guys. Did I rinse the 15K? Yes. make you feel 10 times better than when you're not on steroids it's it's pure sarcasm i'm not saying to do anything i don't influence people i just do shit and people copy me that's what influencing is an influencer is a person who is regarded as an expert within their particular field that also has a steady following well i guess he's an expert at sniffing creatine at losing all his money at gambling and at using steroids in a healthy fashion influencers have the ability to uplift inform and encourage young people to adopt positive beliefs and habits through their platforms positive beliefs and habits as a result they are extremely important in forming the leaders and change agents of the future and so imagine this is a leader and change agent of the future looking bad for our future. However, social media influencers can also have a negative impact on society. Well, oh my goodness, tell me I couldn't have thought of that. Thanks, Chad GPT. Many influencers suffer from anxiety, depression, and burnout because of the pressure to maintain their image online. And so you don't think that guys like Alex Eubank and Toji- Fuck, Craig, you said thank you so much for the online. gift. Imagine Fuck, Craig, you do said thank you so much Once for the gift. Ayo, Dejian, one sub, thank you so much, I appreciate you. Craig, you said can wait, lick my fucking balls, Greg. Thank you so much for the gift, I appreciate it, I love you. Sulik are the Trent Twins, um, responsible to any degree. Any responsibility, as in a zero, none, nada. Settle. Do you really think it's none that you have no impact whatsoever? When you look at like the responsibility ladder, you have to just like uh, effectively blame it on the user entirely. Alex Eubank and then Toji, Sam Sulik, Chris Bumstead. And are they not on the ladder somewhere? And then perhaps there's another ladder over here and Alex Eubank says, hey, do it natural. Stop doing this. You don't need to do it. And then perhaps I see a Coach Greg video. Don't take it. Mike Isertel had Fuck you, Craig just said thank you, Henry, so much for the subs. I appreciate you with the two subs. Much love. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. To take it. You're somewhere on the ladder. Sometimes, like, it just doesn't work out, and that's natural selection. If I died at a young age because of my poor decisions, like, that was self-inflicted. Just because it's self-inflicted doesn't mean it didn't stem from someone else. And I don't think that it's all positive experiences. Hey, I abused drugs when I was a kid. It's all positive experiences. Don Turtle, thank you so much for the positive. sub. I appreciate you. How do I make a poll? Should I plinkle, you can't turn off this Greg Doucette video drugs, or should I finish it off? Next. Does it sound like it's all positive or does it all sound negative? My biggest concern why I speak against it so much is just because I know like a lot of these kids are just going to crash out and then 
you either regret it and i don't know i feel like people take it for the wrong reasons it's always the wrong reason where what's the good reason the good reason to take steroids is your doctor recommends it because you have low levels of testosterone that is the good reason the doctor tells you to do it I, the people want me to finish it oh i wanted to win the mr olympia bad reason oh i wanted to be famous on instagram bad reason how are those good reasons all the reasons are bad it's just how you justify it in your own head some people are going to say greg you're an idiot sam sulik took steroids Thank you so much for the fucking subs. The five pieces means the world to me. Thank you so fucking much. I appreciate you. Now let's watch this goddamn Greg Doucette video together. Thank you so much for the five pieces. It means the world to me. Ser seriously. Like, seriously. I thank you. Just like light shit. Steroids, but look how many followers he have. He's clearly justified. He made it. He has so much money. Chris Bump said, five time Mr. Olympia champion. He clearly should be taking steroids because look how good he looks. Is that really the reason to do so? What about the expense of their health? You really think Chris Bump going to sit there at perhaps at 40 years of age and think, hmm, I won six Mr. Olympia titles. I'm not healthy. I lost my health. I now have all these problems, but it was worth it. Do you think Mike Isertel, when he's 48 years of age, is going to look back and think, I'm right, so glad I went for that Greg pro card. If only I'd had me. a tan. Do you really think he's going to say that? Or do you think he's going to say, hmm, Wish I'd listened to Coach Greg. I should have gave up steroids, stayed on HRT, and been healthy. Dedication. I think Togi has a point, thinking it took years of dedication to get that dream physique. I think that people would be proud of that, perhaps on their deathbed. But Togi, you did it in six months. And I'd be proud of that. When you're 60, or perhaps you're only 40 if you make it that far, and you're thinking, wow, look at all the accomplishment I did. I got my dream physique in six months taking steroids. I'm so proud of that. Do you really think you're going to be more proud of that than thinking, you know, I trained for 20 years natural. Greg, 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 in the least least narcissistic way I could possibly say this. I hated how I looked. I hated how I looked when I was 20. Looked in the mirror every day. I saw a bitch. I saw a poor kid. No bitches, nothing. I took steroids. And now I got money. I get to travel the world. I got girls. I have a physique that I like. Of course I'm going to rush it, Greg. Of course I'm going to rush it. What's the fu fucking point? Greg might be more jacked than me, but you know what else Greg is? 40 goddamn years old. A wrinkly bag of fucking shit. Greg is so goddamn old and wrinkly. If I woke up in the morning one day looking like Greg goddamn Doucette, I would be so pissed. I would be so pissed. Enjoy your life while you're fucking young and you're prime, motherfuckers. Oh, we got a we got a gift. We got a gift. We got a gift. We got a gift. Hold up, Henry zero seven one. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Greg is half my body fat. You know what? You know what? Greg's half my body fat. How about you tell the bitches about what your body fat is? First date, you're sitting at the date with a girl. Yeah, I'm 8% body fat. You know how much you're not going to get fucking laid out of that bullshit? 0%. Not a single bitch on the planet. As long as you're jacked and not obese, not a single chick on the planet cares about the difference between 6% body fat and 15% body fat. And that's the same with the goddamn power lifters. Power lifters go... Oh, but I can bench twice as much as you. Yeah, how about you go tell the goddamn bitches about how much you bench? How about you go to Chipotle, take out your card, your little certificate, I bench 405. See if they take it. Get you some free goddamn Chipotle with your 405 bench. It will not get you fucking shit in this life. And it depends on what your goals are, but my goals, I want more money, better relationship with my family, more traveling, provide for my friends and family. You know what? Don't do that is benching more goddamn weight. I'm not 15% body fat, but here's the thing. I could be 30% body fat because I don't give a shit because I am I like how I look. I have my dream fucking physique. I could be 80% body fat and I said I don't give a shit because I have my dream physique and I'm happy with it. I have other things I'm working on other than chicken and rice and getting more jacked because you know what doesn't get you more bitches is chicken and rice. Chicken and rice and getting more jacked will not get you more bitches. Being in good shape will get you more bitches. 
But more importantly, you have to be in good shape, you have to be funny, and you have to have money, and you have to make a girl feel comfortable and make them laugh. You have those five things, it doesn't matter. You don't need even, even need to be good looking. You don't even need to be good looking. I've counted to countless girls before. You don't need to be good. Girls do not care about looks. You see the skinny skater fag or skinny skater nerd, and you see the motherfucker that is just like, He's with the girl way out, of, way out of her league. That's because they don't care. They care about everything and then last is looks. Yapping holy, you don't have to listen, but I'm saying it's facts. It's facts. I am not a conventionally attractive guy, but I can get plenty of women because I have money, I have a good physique, and I make girls laugh, and I make them feel comfortable. That's all you need. That's all the fuck you need. If you have bigger muscles, you know what you're going to get? You have bigger muscles, you know what you're going to get? You're going to get more attention from dudes. You have a nicer car, you're going to get more attention from car dudes. Weird car dudes. The bitches don't give a shit about your car, I'll tell you that much. You not to thank you for the sub. Welcome aboard. I hope you love the content. I hope you love the content. I hope you love the content. Welcome aboard. What do you bitches like? Bitches like money. Bitches like you treating them well. You bitches like you fucking the shit out of them. And bitches like you buying them fun vacations and cool shit. It wasn't until I was in my 30s that I used steroids. So, for example, when I'm on my deathbed, I'm sure I'm going to be proud of the things that I did natural. And I think, yeah, I ended up using steroids. That was stupid. I should have done that. But I'm going to be thinking, at least I competed in 42 shows natural before I used steroids. At least I did it as long as I possibly could. I didn't take a shortcut in my teenage years or in my early 20s as most kids are doing right now. I waited. I hit my natural genetic limit. At least I waited until my brain was finished. I am a genetic genetic limit. You want a fucking medal for hitting your genetic natural limit, nerd? What the fuck was I thinking? I'm so stupid. You'd be thinking, why did I do this? If I only could get my life back, I would do it again. I wouldn't have done it. Having a good physique benefits a man's life in such a dramatic fashion that it's not just big muscles. Yeah. Now you can do cool things for your family and all this. Yeah, having a good... Good physique as in a healthy physique, it's absolutely going to benefit you. But you don't need to have massive muscles. You don't need to be 200. I'll turn it off in five ridiculous. minutes. It'll be done in five healthy, minutes. A lot of people wanted to watch it. Body fat. People can tell that you take care of your health. For example, you go to the gym and lift weights two or three days a week. You do your cardio. You put the fork down. You're healthy. People are going to respect that. Look at that guy. He's the healthy guy. He doesn't abuse steroids. He's healthy. But in comparison, you're Jack 225. What are they going to say? steroids do you really think that people have so much respect for you because you're on steroids or do you not think that all they care is about that you're healthy i want to do everything in my life yeah. as fast as i can I, it, it like bugs me that i couldn't take my mom on a vacation or this and that and so do you really think his mom is thinking oh my god my great amazing son he took me on that vacation he's only 20. And how did he do that? From taking steroids. Do you think his mom cares about the vacation that he was able to bring her on? Or do you think his mom would want him to live longer? Which do you think they would choose? I certainly know my parents would rather have me here for a long time rather than a short time doing everything. What impresses them is everything else that you've done in their life. I'm sure that if I were to ask my parents, are you proud of the fact that you steroids? They would say, I'm proud of the fact that you stopped. Not that you got on them. Yeah, you did all those things, those mistakes. But I'm proud that you stopped and that you're making videos trying to encourage other people to not follow in your footsteps. I feel if I'm not getting there as fast as I possibly can, I feel almost like a loser, like I'm wasting my time. And so Togi needs a psychologist. I'm, I'm just telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. The guy needs a psychiatrist. He needs to go over these feelings. Why do you think you need to do it so quickly or that you're a loser? You're not a loser. I never, ever felt like a loser when I was natural, ever. Even if I didn't win the competition, I felt like a winner. I'm thinking, I did it natural. That guy that beat me, the guy that beat me in the overall, he went natty. I was natty and I knew it. And so even if I lost- Every single fucking second that you waste, Greg, you have 70 years on this planet if you're lucky every second you fucking wait is a second you're falling behind motherfucker sure you start when you're 30 and you work your fucking ass off well guess what motherfuckers like me motherfuckers like you in the chat have been working since we're 20 bro what were you doing when you're 22 years old greg nothing compared to the people in the chat nothing compared to the people like myself i greg i'm 22 years older than you and i make more goddamn money than you so what do you mean there's no rush 
It's all a rush. It's a game. There's only so much time. You can never get more time back. Time, everything in this life comes and goes. Muscles comes and goes. Girls comes and goes. Friends comes and goes. Time, once it's gone, it's fucking gone, motherfucker. I don't think you make more. I'm <laughs> I'm not going to argue it. I still felt like a champion because you're using the like the, I guess like the argument mm -hmm. that it got it's going to get you there quicker when to, to be honest I don't think that's the truth. No, you can't steroids literally get you there quicker You really think that Chris Bumstead would have won five mr. Olympia titles by now and done it quicker without the steroids No, I'm pretty sure that using steroids got him the muscle he needed a lot quicker And so told you he did it quicker from using steroids without the steroids could he have gotten the same Greg Doucette sold 20 million dollars of cookbooks. Do you know how much more goes into that? I sold multiple six figures of Togi apparel in the first couple weeks and i still am hardly profitable because the revenue is not that's not how that shit works things go into this shit and people see greg say they sell this much cooking i'm not saying greg's greg's rich he's got bread but all i'm saying is he shouldn't be fucking on this goddamn high horse bro like he's so much goddamn better than me okay but uh, real quick i'm a fan of greg i love greg Doucette. I think Greg Doucette is one of the funniest people on the internet. I look up to Greg. I think he's hilarious. I just got to stand up for myself. It's just like when one of my friends is talking shit to me, I'm going to talk shit back and stand up for myself, but we're still friends. I love Greg. Just, just to put that on the table, I love Greg, and I am a huge fan of Greg Doucette. Same amount of muscle? Maybe, but it would have perhaps taken him to and even if me and Greg disagree on a bunch of shit, doesn't mean we can't be friends. You know what I mean? And extra years. Some people, if you really are do things right, I think you can get there quicker. No. If Chris Bumstead or Toji hadn't used steroids and they ate perfectly, slept perfectly, did everything perfectly, they're not getting their dream physique quicker than if they used and abused the steroids. Sorry. I tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. I give you the truth. Remember, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to make a video and say, hey, you can get to your dream physique quicker if you don't use steroids by doing this and doing that. No, you can't. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think yeah. that's the case. Like some people, if you really are do things right. But I what mean, does right mean? Like, like, what's your definition of doing it right? Well, before I listen to Alex's definition, I'll tell you, Togi, right, doing it right means doing it healthy without using steroids, without using banned and illegal drugs that are banned in your country. And so if your country says, hey, steroids are illegal and you're 20 years old and you start using steroids before your brain's even done developing and you haven't even reached your natural genetic limit when you still have newbie gains to get, that is doing it in a stupid fashion. Doing it right is not only just thinking about yourself, but I can't watch any more of this video. It was, a, it was an okay video. It was an okay video. I don't really want to watch any more of it. Um, Greg, there's no right or wrong way to go about your life as long as you're happy. At the end of the day, if you're living a fulfilling life and you are happy, who is to tell you that you are doing it right or incorrect? Just because Greg's way is his way doesn't mean it's my way. That's all I'm going to say. My way I love. He loves his way. We can go our separate ways. That's all I'm going to say about that video. We can get back to the fun stuff.